Now, what are the roles and responsibilities in the review process? Let's understand different roles and responsibilities. So participants of the formal review process should have adequate knowledge about the review process. So whosoever is doing the review, if you're following the formal review process, the participant should know, should have adequate knowledge of the review process. Formal review is most successful when the participants are guided by trained moderators. So moderators should have been very um, expert and trained with the review process. So it is always success, formal review is successful only if um, participants are guided by some trained moderators. Main roles in the review process. The following are the main roles. Moderator, author, scribe or recorder who just records what discussion has been made uh, what, what discussion is going on during the review meeting. Then the reviewers, actual people who um, review the document and the manager. So let's discuss these um, roles one by one and what are the responsibilities for different people um, performing these roles. So the moderator, um, moderator is also known as the review leader. He leads the review process then he in cooperation with the author determines the type approach and composition of the review team so it's the moderator's responsibility that he um, he discusses with the author so once author approaches to the moder moderator about um, review that review is required for his document then both of them discuss who are the right people um, to review that document. So if it's, suppose it's a, it's a test, um, test plan, then uh, tech, um, then development lead, development manager um, has to be there. Um, senior developers have to be there who will be, you know, um, kind of creating the main features, um, will be developing main features and then um, test manager, test lead. So the composition of the review team is also decided in the um, uh, moderator decides the composition of the review team. Then he, he performs entry check and follow up work after review. He performs the entry check or he verifies the document meets the entry criteria before the review actually start, starts. And then after review, he uh, performs the follow-up work uh, after any changes are me, me, being made by the author, whether all the changes have been made. If all the changes have been made, he circulates the modified document to the team and collects feedback again. So he performs entry check and follow-up work as well. Then he schedules the meetings. He circulates the review document before meetings. He coaches the he coaches other team members because moderator is the most experienced um, person in the review process. So he coaches other team member about the review process as well. And then he leads the discussion and stores the collected data. He also leads the discussion. He also stores any data that is being uh, collected during the discussion. So if if there are some heated discussion going on, any personal comments or so he, he makes sure that no such um, type of things happen and uh, start happening in the uh, review meeting and he keeps control on all uh, sort of personal comments and issues during the meeting. And the second role is the author. The author is a person who actually um, develops the document that needs to be reviewed so author is the person who is responsible for the document who which has to be reviewed so he is the owner of the document he is the, the uh, he is the person who created that document so suppose um test lead creates test strategy and test plan so um test lead is the author of test um, strategy and test plan 
Then author's responsibility during meeting is to ensure um, is to uh, understand about defects and issues in documents. So author's responsibility during the meeting is to understand what are the defects in the document that he created or what are the issues in the document that he created. Then author should try to learn as much as possible about how to improve future document so he should try to learn as much as he can and try to improve future uh, documentation and third role is the scribe or the recorder he is the person who makes note of whatever discussion or issues or um, defects being discussed in the meeting he records all those issues in the um, in the in the meeting so a scribe is also known as a recorder. His main role in review meeting is to record each defect and suggestions for process improvement. So his main role is to record any defect that is being discussed and any suggestion that is being made to um, improve the process. Then author plays this role because it helps them to understand their own comments um, uh, better during rework. So. Um, it depends. I mean, sometimes it's better if author plays this role, but sometimes it's more advantageous if somebody else is playing this role. Um, in in some cases, author feel that they will be able to read um, whatever comments they note more clearly if they have written it on their own rather than somebody else writing um, the feedback for them. But sometimes, uh, it's more advantageous if a lot of discussion is going on then author can focus more on discussion rather than writing so in in this scenario it's better to have scribe if author wants to listen more into the discussion and focus more into the discussion rather than keep on writing so so it, it has its pron and con but most of the time scribe role is also played by is played by the author it can be played by somebody else as well then having another person as scribe can be advantageous as it makes author to think more about the document more about the discussion um, author has more time to discuss about the issues if some some other person is playing scribe role then the fourth role is uh, the reviewers who are the people who actually review the document um, reviewers are also called as checkers or inspectors because they check the document or inspect the document. Their main task is to check the document for any defects. Uh, reviewers should be chosen from specific technical or business background based on the type of review. So reviewers should be chosen from different uh, specific technical or business background. Um, based on different type of reviews. So suppose it's a, it's a test document review, people from test team, development team needs to be involved. If it's a, if it's a requirements document, people from um, different stakeholders like people from business, uh, different uh, business units, uh, top, top technical people, um, architects need to be there in, in the discussion. So based on the review type, you, you need to choose people for the review. Then reviewers should be chosen to represent different perspectives and roles in review process. Then the final final role is the manager. So manager decides the execution of reviews, allocates time in project schedule. So. Um, the main decision about execution of reviews is decided by manager. Um, it, it can also be decided by the uh, moderator, but um, sometimes it's decided by the manager. And manager also allocates because manager produces the project schedule. He creates the project schedule. So all the review time is spent, um, all the time that is spent in the review meetings and process needs to be uh, mention in the project schedule so manager allocates time in the project schedule um, for the reviews and meetings then he also determines if the review objectives have been met 
So he also determines whether objectives of the review have been met or not. He also takes care of any review training requests required for the participant. So if the team requires any sort of training about the review process or um, about the formal review process, he ensures that training has been provided to the team members or to the reviewers. And depending on the manager background, he can also play a role in review meetings. So a manager can also, um, manager can be a moderator. So suppose you are a test lead working as a test lead, um, then um, your manager can be moderator. Uh, you approach to your manager for reviewing the test plan and test strategy. So he can play a role of the moderator as well.